So large language models like ChatGPT are such a breakthrough because we have been waiting for computers to understand natural language since Alan Turing first suggested it in the 50s. But that day has come, and although there's not that many yet, there's only a few big mega companies with the kind of budgets and knowledge to train these models. So I thought it would be good to devote a video to just giving you the high level view of who the biggest players in the industry are and what large language models they're working on. Because in some sense, the big monster project is collecting the data and training it in the first place, but actually running the model is quite a bit simpler. And as models trickle onto the internet and they start getting run on local hardware, we're gonna see a proliferation of all of these large language models. And then you won't be able to cover it all in one video, so this is my last chance. Discover Google's four artificial intelligence models that are changing the game. So when it comes to large language models, it kind of sucks that Google's not in first place because they invented the transformer. And that was a fundamental breakthrough in the way large language models work. So let's start with their conversation model, Lambda. Lambda is all about free-flowing conversations and it's built on a whopping 137 billion parameters. And if you know Google Bard trying to compete with Bing AI, that is also built with Lambda at its core. Next would be Google Palm, a 540 billion parameter model. Palm is amazing at complex learning and reasoning and it even outperforms humans on many tests. And its most recent iteration called Palm E, and the E stands for embodied because this is a model that's meant to live inside of a robot that moves around in three dimensions. And finally, they've got a model called MT5, and it's the most robust multilingual model in the world. It has 101 languages that it understands. Anthropic, the $4.1 billion artificial intelligence company that you need to know about. So Anthropic's super interesting because the top talent at OpenAI that built ChatGPT, a good chunk of them, 15 employees, left the company at the same time to start Anthropic. So in a sense, you can almost think of it as branching off the same knowledge base that OpenAI built GPT-4 from. Now their vision, which attracted $4.1 billion of investment, and I'm sure they'll have more coming down the road, was to create an artificial intelligence that was more AGI friendly. It's called Claude. And what I mean by AGI friendly is deep down in its core, it's more aligned with human nature. Claude is more helpful, harmless, and honest than any other artificial intelligence to date. And the reason they had to branch off is to do this project, they needed to use something called constitutional AI, which means all along the training process, as data was fed into the model, it was constantly rewarded for good behavior. And they use a special self-supervision system, which is a lot like how you would praise somebody for good behavior. And look, if one model ends up dominating all of them and taking us into the singularity, there's a good chance Claude is our best chance of survival. So. I'm a big fan of Anthropic. Meet DeepMind's Chinchilla, the budget-friendly AI that's shaking up the industry. So did you know that DeepMind, a company that's technically owned by Alphabet, actually created three major artificial intelligence large language models. Now the first one is called Gopher, and it's pretty awesome at answering specialized subjects, like questions that involve the sciences and the humanities. Plus it's just as good if not better at some of the other models at logical reasoning and mathematics. And the fact that it was trained on 280 billion parameters means that it was actually bigger than GPT-3. DeepMind's second model is called Chinchilla, which has the same computing budget as Gopher, but with only 70 billion parameters, but four times as much data. So sometimes you need more data, sometimes you need more parameters to make these models work better. But surprisingly, it beats out a lot of the other big large language models, including Gopher, Jurassic 1, and Megatron, which makes it one of the best models for fine tuning and inference. And lastly, DeepMind created Sparrow, which is a chatbot that's all about correct answers and not saying something that's unsafe. It was trained with a lot of human judgment at its core. Facebook's AI journey. Top talent and cutting edge language models. So Facebook started acquiring some of the top artificial intelligent talent over a, a decade Ago. and they've always had the money and the interest to handle language because one of their biggest problems was spam and they had to understand what kind of comments were real. And they built a model called Optimal, OPT-IML. So it's a pre-trained language model that Meta created with a whopping 175 billion parameters. And it's been fine-tuned for tasks like question answering, summarization, and translation using around 2,000 languages. It's a conversational agent that's learning every time you interact with it. But don't be deceived, this little bot boasts some skills, like personality, empathy, knowledge, and it's able to hold a meaningful conversation and use long and short-term memory while it's searching the internet. And for a brief moment, Meta actually released a science and educational model called Galactica. It was only up for two days. I actually have a video on it, so I was able to play with it. And I thought it was sad they took it down. It was trained on 48 million scientific papers. But like all of these models, it does confabulate, it hallucinates, and misinformation that looks like a scientific paper was just too much. So 
they took it down. NVIDIA Megatron Turing, a game-changing AI powerhouse. So NVIDIA has really upped their game with the Megatron Turing Natural Language Generation Model, MT-NLG for short. Now this transformer-based language model is packing in an incredible 530 billion parameters, making it one of the largest and most powerful models of its kind. But building a quality, useful, and human-like chatbot is not just about parameter size. And Megatron does beat out some of the state-of-the-art models that are trained with more parameters. And it has one of the best accuracy ratings when it comes to natural language tasks like completion prediction, common sense reasoning, reading comprehension, natural language inference, and word sense disambiguation. So it's safe to say that NVIDIA's Megatron is making a name for itself. Introducing Jurassic One, AI21 Lab's groundbreaking language model. So the Israeli artificial intelligence company AI21 recently released the Jurassic One model. This is an autoregressive language model with 178 billion parameters. This model is very impressive also because of the benchmarking system that was developed alongside it to see how smart it was. So they did a lot of work into thinking about what it actually means to be intelligent and different ways that you could measure that. And that software itself became an open source benchmarking tool that we use for most of the major large language models now. Bloomberg's AI Game Changer, meet the 50 billion parameter model. So Bloomberg just released a paper. They now have their own large language model. So it's really a text-based system that's called Bloomberg GPT. Now, of course, they're a financial company and they have incredible financial data. So they fed that in. So you can ask in a natural language way about financial information. So it's great for tasks like sentiment analysis, named entry recognition, news classification, and even just generally asking questions about finance. It's a groundbreaking move and they have a unique data set that sets them apart. So I think they did a smart move here. And this model, just from a financial benchmarking point of view, has achieved some top-notch results while also staying competitive when comparing it to other large language models. Alibaba's Tongyi Kuanwen, China's chat GPT model that's upping the AI game. A rival to chat GPT. But Tongyi Kuanwen supports both English and Chinese languages. And it's going to be integrated across all of Alibaba Baba's main businesses soon, starting with their workplace messaging app, DingTalk. And the chatbot can already perform all sorts of interesting tasks, like writing minute notes, writing emails, drafting business proposals, and so on. It will also be integrated into their version of Siri called Tmall Genie, giving Alibaba an edge over some of the Western competitors who haven't yet integrated a large language model like this into smart speakers. And here's the big punchline. It was trained on a whopping 10 trillion parameters. Yes, that's trillion with a T. So for context, ChatGPT powered by GPT-4 probably runs on at most a trillion. They didn't even announce it, but that's what estimates are. And a beta version of the API is already available for Chinese developers. Baidu's Ernie 3.0 Titan next level artificial intelligence skills. So Baidu recently released a new artificial intelligent large language model called Ernie 3.0 Type. With an impressive 260 billion parameters, it's pretty good at natural language. It's been trained on a huge corpus of data and has shown great results in over 60 natural language processing tasks, like machine reading comprehension and text classification. It also tends to be good at adapting to a new task with very little labeled data. And Baidu's working on incorporating it into something called ErnieBot, which is OpenAI's ChatGPT clone. AutoGPT versus Microsoft's Jarvis and Baby AGI. AutoGPT has definitely been shaking things up recently because it's an open sourced application and it's based on GPT-4. But its big differentiator is that it can work autonomously without having somebody there to prompt it. So it's like having an artificial intelligent agent that's out there on the internet. And when you ask it to do something, instead of telling it step-by-step step what to do, it goes ahead and tries to complete all of that on its own. For example, you could ask it to go out on the web, find some kind of information, open up a Word document, put the information in there and then save that to your desktop. It's literally a scary amount of power and people are already finding ways to use AutoGPT that are just, they feel like it's almost out of control. But some of the mundane things that it's been doing is trying to run e-commerce businesses or rewriting code. And now there's even other of these auto-completing systems out there like Microsoft Jarvis and Baby AGI. So Pandora's box has been opened.